Forecast with forecaster Jennifer Perez, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, I wasn't around for it, but from the sounds of it, we sure rebounded from this weekend's kind of sour weather. Dreary. It was a beautiful day outside. <laughs> yeah, it was really beautiful. Saturday, we had a little bit of some showers and storms early in the morning. Friday night, it was a dreary Saturday for us and a little on the cooler side for the rest of the entire weekend. But, you know, today we really bounced back. Temperatures were in the low 70s. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's because, well, we have a lot of sunshine in the works for the entire week. Have a look at the satellite and radar loop. Clear conditions over the entire state, most of the Great Lakes area as well. I'll tell you why. Well, that's because high pressure is dominating our weather today, tomorrow, and for several days to come. So that means dry, sunny conditions for us in the works. Overnight low temperatures, a little seasonable for us, right on the mid 40s. Typically, we're supposed to be right around 49 for an overnight low. So yeah, a few degrees cooler than normal, but that's okay. High temperatures today right around the low 70s for us. We were actually able to make it to about 73 here in Lansing, 72 in Mason, 74 in Charlotte. No, that's a few degrees uh, warmer than wh where we should be for this time of year. Our normal highs is right around 71 for this time of year, so not too warm and uh, fairly nice for us across the region, though temperatures are still a little bit on the warm side further west. Uh, they're in the mid to uh, low 60s, and while we're in the upper uh, 50s right now, low 60s, so we have a little bit of a cooling going on here. And overnight, we will get uh, significantly cooler. Temperatures will be dropping down to the mid 40s for us. A look at our national temperatures for our highs today. Well, have you looked just west? We have some warmer air just west of us with high temperatures. 93 in Fargo, 85 in Billings. We will see a little bit of that warmer air move into our area. Now, we won't be seeing 80s, but each and every day we will be seeing a degree or two warmer for us. So a look at our national satellite and radar loop. Clear conditions over a lot of the central plains and a lot of the Great Lakes. High pressures just dominating our area, keeping us on the dry and uh, cool and calm side. That's all in your weather headlines. The dry pattern continues with a lot of sunshine and a little bit of the warmer temperatures tonight. Beautiful night, clear conditions for us. Same story for us tomorrow. Mostly sunny day, a lot of sunshine, a little bit warmer temperatures with our flow out of the southwest. There is a front just north of us and then I'll bring up some cloud cover as well as some showers over parts of the UP as well as Wisconsin. We will not be dealing with that at all. That stays further north of us and we keep into the sunshine. Clear conditions Wednesday uh, into Wednesday morning. Wednesday throughout the day will be sunny for us. A little bit warmer as well. Dry, no rain to worry about. Maybe a few high clouds, but that's really just about it. Just beautiful, beautiful conditions for us. Tomorrow morning we'll be starting off in the upper 40s for us. High temperatures a degree or two warmer right around the mid 70s for us for tomorrow and then Wednesday morning starting off right around the low 50s. High temperatures even warmer uh, close to the upper 70s for us on Wednesday. So a few days where we will eventually continue to warm up. So uh, Wednesday, which is the start of fall, will be well above normal, upper 70s throughout the entire week. Then we kind of uh, slow down just a little bit. We'll get back down to the lower 70s into this weekend. So we'll cool down just a tad bit. Tonight, though, 45, mostly clear overnight. Your 1-800 Hanson's kid is Jade, and she's from Grass Lake, a high of about 74 tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. Sun Sunshine tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Looking good. A little bit of some cloud cover on Monday working into the area. Well above normal to start off the first week of fall, Sarah. Not too shabby. I love the fall, too, and that's why it just looks perfect. Yes. Jennifer, thank you.